Okay, so here we are in my lead pages account and I'm looking at the templates page. Now what I wanna do is filter the templates because of course I don't want all templates, I just want opt-in templates. I wanna narrow the playing field and I also wanna sort by highest converting just because I wanna start with the best that it can be. Now, if you've been using lead pages for a while, you know this is one of the oldest in the book, but clearly it is still, uh, it's still working for people and so that is the one that I would be using. Um, but I don't want to use the drag and drop template. I just want the regular, um, the regular standard template here, just because it integrates better with my autoresponder. So I'm going to use this template, and I like to keep things super simple. Like all this stuff at the top, I just don't feel like it's necessary for what I'm doing. Okay, so I'm just going to get rid of it. So I've just got this nice, uh, this nice page right here. I'm going to click on this Google Analytics and I'm going to scroll to the very bottom and upload a new picture. And of course, I'm going to use my Medium ebook cover, open that up. And once it's uploaded, I'm going to click on the image and scroll to the bottom and say done. And now it's automatically put that in here. I would change this to be my awesome headline that we that we discovered in the beginning using the headline tool. So uh, let's just put in here top 10 tools you need to automate your business and get your time back, right? Because that's what I want to help you to do. Automate your business and get your time back. Uh, I'm going to just get rid of this because I don't need it. I feel like that's enough. Of course, you don't have to. If you want to bring it back, you just go back over here and put it back in, okay? And now what you want to do is actually click on the Download Now link. I want to move this new image, and I'm going to change it over to this one so it makes sense. And I'm going to click, uh, well, here you'd actually have to integrate, right? You'd want to go, who? where do you want to integrate? So I would probably be integrating with uh, Office Autopilot but I could go to HTML too. So Office Autopilot, Entreport, same thing. Um, whatever you have, you would integrate with. And so let me just say, uh, let's just say other. And I don't think it's gonna let me out until I do something. Okay, it did. Uh, now I wanna say done. I'm gonna name the page, demo opt-in, done, save. And now I can go ahead and publish this. And if I click on view page, then you can see I've got this lovely, nicely formatted. So it, like, it doesn't matter what kind of lead capture page creator you're using, this is how you would get it online, right? And this is the link that you would use, or you could host it on your own WordPress site, whatever works. Now let me just go back, because I did want to show you a step here. Um, when you click on the button, it gives you some options here, and one of them is thank you page. So what I'd like to do here is instead of using the default thank you page, because we don't want to do that ever, 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 I'm just going to put in, oh, not my email address, I'm going to put in the link to our book, okay? And so that's the ebook that we created or the cheat sheet or checklist or whatever it is that you've created. I'm going to click on OK and then save again. And once that's saved, I can go over to this page. Let's just make sure it's done saving. OK, I'm going to reload the page to make sure that those changes have taken place on this page. And now when I click on download, and again, I would not ask for phone number. We should have taken that out. I'm going to put Don and I'm going to say get my free report now. And you can see again that I've been redirected to the, the correct place and I can go through and read this awesome ebook. And this, this is the experience that your user would have, like the, the person who just opted in for you. Don't you think that this would be a great user experience? And it was so simple and easy. Like you could literally have this set up by the end of today if you wanted to. I would challenge you to get it set up. If you don't already have a lead magnet in a way that you're collecting leads, I would challenge you to set something like this up by the end of today because why the heck not? The money really is in the list, but no, only if you're growing it, right? Only if you're, only if you're bringing people in to your circle of influence. So hopefully this tutorial was helpful.
I'm sure it was helpful, especially if you're not building your list. This is really going to help you to kickstart things. My name is Don Mars Ortiz. Super excited to have you join me here today for this tutorial, and I'll talk to you soon.